Okay. All right. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Sarah. Um, thanks for doing this interview with 80s Purple. I love 80s Purple. Wonderful. So, um, who are you and, and what do you do? My name is Trevor. Um, I make music and I DJ and I blog and I do a lot of the same things you do. I just try and pay rent by doing things that are awesome. That's good. <laughs> and, um, so what have you been doing this um, awesome lately? Um, awesome lately, I've been working on well a new website I can't talk about just yet, but it's coming out yeah. soon. I got um, like four or five remixes that I finished in the last two weeks. I've um, been working with this girl named Gumshoe, who I signed, who you may or may not have met yet, but she's from Crenshaw and she's incredible. And she's on Twitter, at OKGumshoe. Okay Plug number one. And that's cool. She's awesome. You'll hear more about her. But yeah, it's been in the studio, traveling, DJing, got trapped in New York, and making music. It's so old. That's good. Now, how is it on New York <laughs> this time of year? The weather is lovely. Yeah, it sucks. I'm not really, I don't know, man. I used to like freaking love going to New York, and now I'm kind of like, whenever I go, I kind of dread it. It's like a six hour flight, and like, yeah. coldness. And I sort of look in the, after living in New York, I'm like, I, I'd, I'd rather live in LA and visit New York than live in New York and visit LA. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. I'd rather visit like small towns now. I really like going to like, not even small towns, like, I don't know, smaller big cities like Nash like, oh, Nashville. Like Austin's and Austin, and yeah, Nashville. I don't know, Portland, stuff like that. I love Portland. Yeah, Portland's good. When it's like the rain thing. Yeah. I don't know. I still, I, I, I really enjoy Portland. People have like good outlooks on life there and good tunes. I don't know, New York to me is rad. I love a lot of my friends in New York, like trouble and bass people and stuff, but other than that, I don't really, I don't know, Cafe Havana? Yeah, Cafe Havana's good. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> um, um, so, in, um, you've been doing, so what kind of remixes have you been doing lately? Um, I did an official, well, I'm finishing an official remix right now for Kesha. Adjust to. Yeah, her new song, Blah Blah Blah, which features 303, I'm doing the official remix for that. I just did an official one for LMFAO for that song, Shots. Um, I'm doing a Theophilus London remix. I have, uh, what else? Oh, like, little Neon Indian edits and, like, um, I have a song coming out on Fool's Gold called Lindsay Low End. Oh, yeah. Creative. Uh huh. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah. Got that one. Uh huh. So I don't know. That kind of stuff. Cool. Um, and I know that you're a big sort of pop culture fan. What is your uh, favorite TV show in this season? Favorite TV? Well, obviously, Jersey Shore was like life changing <laughs> and like world ending and like it's just a new beginning right. from television. That was fun. Um, I've been like so wrapped up in music stuff that like all I really watch is Skins online. The new season, and I just saw Avatar for the like today, like but yeah, I'm like four months late or whatever. But like that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Okay. Um. So, um. Yeah. So, are you sure that Jersey Shore is not a joke? I'm. I'm. You know, like what's crazy is I've experienced that once, and like all in all of my DJing days, I went to Rhode Island, which is you know where yeah. all of these from. Yeah. And it's way worse. I've been to Jersey. I play Atlantic City like every weekend. All summer, I did like every almost every other weekend there. Atlantic City like isn't Jersey Shore. No, nah. you know. And I was like, Jersey Jers, like this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah. Playing like cheesy <laughs> house, and it's gonna be great. And I, I never liked that. I went to Rhode Island and hung out with a bunch of my friends. Um, you remember Jenny? Jenny Asian. Okay, she was like part of the old school days. Okay. But she goes to RISD. Five. She went to RISD. She goes to RISD, and I went there, hung out with her. And oh yeah, 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 that girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I went, uh, she went to RISD and like I brought her and all of her RISD friends to like this club. And those are it's like a weird crew, like RISD kids. Yeah, RISD kids crazy. are like super artsy, yeah. you know, yeah, chicks weird. with like armpit hair, mustaches, yeah. and like you know, just out there like really rad kids. And I was like, yeah, this is what I do now. I DJ like nightclubs, and I don't know what to expect. It's probably gonna be a little more mainstream than what you do at RISD, but like free drinks all night, so. That's they were, awesome. They were like costumes. And they were stoked. And so like they came out and like it was like two worlds that should not have collided. It's <laughs> colliding. Uh, it's like they walked in, everyone just stopped, and, like, who's this girl with the big glasses? And like, you know, and then everyone was obviously looking at these like serious Guido types. Is that offensive? No, I don't I think they I, go, I think they like that now. I guess it works. It's positive now. 
Yeah, and it was just like people were looking at each other like, oh my god, I see them at Walmart and I wonder what they do and this is what they do. <laughs> I found them. Yeah, it was pretty rad. So yeah, Jersey Shore, I'm not sure if it's a joke or not, but like mm -hmm. I experienced it once and it was incredible. Okay. In Rhode Island, interestingly enough. I was like, I want the next one to be in, in, Bo in South Boston. Yeah. That's a that's an interesting Jersey Shore trip. Um, what, oh, next, oh, is, is Kesha a joke? <laughs> no, dude, she's been at it for a long time. She's written a lot of like really good songs. I mean, I, I just like... Like the bad girl thing? I think, obviously, any artist has to, like, really... Especially, in, you know, today's day and age, to, like, make any kind of shock or awe happen. Right. To make people talk about you, you have to do something. Yeah. You know, whether it's... And you gotta really play up yourself. And, like, I think Katie, obviously, is, like, you know, really sassy and hilarious and stuff. But, like, yeah. I Kissed a Girl was, like, her personality taken to the, you know, nth degree. Right. Because it's just, scenario. it just needed to, like, you gotta make a statement and really define who you are. And, like, I, while Gaga does her best to, like, constantly be high fashion, like, you know, yeah. I don't think she's walking around at home in, like, her Alexander McQueen, rest in peace, shoes, or whatever. I went by the store and there's all sorts of. Yeah, just brought the interview down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, yeah, no, I think she's pretty serious and, like, I, she's obviously playing up her personality and right. her character. Which sells records, so. Right, no, it's working. God bless her. Yeah. God bless you, Kesha. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, well, I mean, is there anything else that you want to, yeah, again, yeah, you haven't plugged very many things here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always end up plugging all my friends. Um, oh, what about your Twitter? You are very good at Twitter. You, a lot of people aren't good at Twitter, and Trevor is very good at it. Very funny, entertaining. Am I? Yeah, well, I, well, I worry. Around, yeah, well rounded Twitter. Like, you, you sort of like touch on pop culture, then you do the music thing. A lot, and a lot of the DJs sort of go heavy on the DJing, name dropping, uh -huh. DJing stuff. And you've got a lot of Miley Cyrus stuff. You're in the know, Trevor. I think you're a good person to follow. It's just skeet on. My twits, T W I T T S. There's two T's at the yeah, end. Yeah, I'm all about bad word plays. So yeah. that's, you're going to get a lot of that if you follow me on Twitter. I don't think. There's a lot of good DJs, I feel. There's a lot of name dropping, period, on Twitter. Yeah. But, Lots of name dropping on Twitter. I don't know. A lot, I feel like good. If Sarah's digging it up. I mean, I don't know. You're looking at like, funny things you say about, like, I don't know, like, insightful things on life. No, I enjoy it. They're funny. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, follow her, too. She's funny. <laughs> follow me, too, on Twitter. All right. Thanks, 80s Purple. Thanks, guys. Shop wisely.